Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back to watch Gravity Falls today. Uh, I know that we missed last week. Uh, that's just because there was so much happening, like D23 and all these other things that we just didn't get around to it. However, thank you for being patient. I'm excited to continue this. John, what episode are we on? We are on season two, episode, I believe, 16. Way to go, dude. Just off the dome in it. Well, guys, you know what to do as I'm pulling this up. You can leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our next reaction for Gravity Falls is up here on the channel. Full-length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy of Gravity Falls, available for Super Sexy Rejects at our Patreon page. Lastly, the team at Prepper. Thank you for helping us edit down these highlights. Let's swing the action. <laughs> Every year, my tourist trap competitors prank the mystery shack. Last year, those hooligans duct taped Zeus to the ceiling. This year, we're visiting every tourist trap along the Redwood Highway, and I'm gonna prank back every single one. Wow. Sweet. What do you say, dude? You coming? I already went to the trouble of packing all your stuff. Even the stuff you kept in that secret box under the bed. Whoa! Oh, no. You still have that. Uh, nothing. Just... Wendy stuff. From old times. Oh. I thought you were finally past all this. Uh, I know, I know. I know she's not interested, and I know it's over, but how do you just turn off the way you feel about someone? You punch yourself. <laughs> Repression. The road trip's the perfect place to meet new people. <laughs> you could be that guy. That guy in the photo. You could be that guy. Man, RVs are amazing! I can't believe we're sitting at a table in a moving vehicle! Ooh. I want to do it. Woman lit my car on fire on two non-consecutive occasions. So... Wow. I'm going in, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tourist. <laughs> you're funny and cute. I mean, not cute. I mean, you're not not cute. Whew. Let me start over. My name is Dopper. <laughs> That romper, though. Thinking about Miss Cold Shoulder over there, huh? Ah, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Look, earlier this summer, I ruined my chances with Wendy. <laughs> yeah, chances. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, kid. When it comes to girls, always be confident and be funny, but not too funny. And be kind of annoying, but in a lovable way. <laughs> The three C's of the Stan Pines dating technique. At the next tourist trap, try out my advice on the first girl you see. Cool, thanks. It could work. Hey, I'm full of good ideas. Speaking of which, everyone, now! <laughs> Why, well, you go darn son of a no good! Oh, yeah. I'll get you, Stan Pines! <laughs> to upside down town. What the rush hell? of blood to the head? Crazy place, right? I'm Emma Sue. You know, if you pretend we're right side up, it looks like everyone's hair is standing on end. Huh? Yeah, weird, right? Pretend you're screaming. Okay, you gotta take a picture of me though. Oh. <laughs> Emma, come on! We have to get to Canada before your mother gives birth. It's a long story. Maybe you could tell me sometime. Here's my email address. Write me and I'll tell you all about it. Aw, what a cute old girl. Your email, and it wasn't out of pity. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah. I'm okay. How does this work? I know. Brenda, candy, looking great, looking great. Is that a new pair of glasses? Very shiny. <laughs> Woo! Maybe it's the blood pooling in my head, but Dipper seems different. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's good different. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not so upside down now! <laughs> what a lovely normal home. Stan! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. What do I do now? Do I she email her? No, no, no. The more girls you talk to, the better you get at it. And that's just the tip of the advice, Berg. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done. <laughs> Everyone on board? Probably. Dude, I want that sweater and earrings combo that she's got. 
You're not gonna see any of these gals again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time for truth, truth or, or dare, dare or, or don't. don't. I choose don't. Oh, you always choose don't. <laughs> tell, tell us, tell, tell us. us. Okay, it begins with a D and ends with an Ipper. <gasps> Ready, Grenda? Three, two, one. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, Candy! All my life dreams are coming true right now. My brother, my best friend. I can't breathe! I'm so excited, I can't breathe! But how do I approach him? Don't even worry about that, Can Can. Mabel's got a plan. Mabel? <laughs> Today, the mountain falls. Question. The back seat makes me car sick. Can I sit up front today? Also question. I'm the size of two people. Can I have a whole seat to myself? <laughs> Woo, change up. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, that means it'll be just me and... Candy too. Sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dipper, I was wondering, would you maybe want to walk around the Mystery Mountain with me today? Sure. Oh, <laughs> golly. You and me, Candy and Dipper. Paul Bunyan and his blue ox babe. Five bucks for whoever can tip the big blue ox. Go, go, go. I will see you in there. <laughs> Way to flirt, man. I just need to be honest with her and tell her I, I'm not ready for all this. That's your dumb obsession with Wendy getting in the way of your future. If you want to move on, you gotta say yes to whatever comes your way. Speaking of which... Go for it. But I don't want to lead her on. Ah, uh, watch and learn. <laughs> I've lost my number. Can I borrow yours? Oh, <laughs> you are a riot. What brings you here? We don't normally get men this handsome. <laughs> you know, I'm going on a break. You want to take the Sky Tram up to Widow's Peak? Take my advice or don't, but clearly, I know what I'm doing. Get that Trambians. I wonder what they'll name the baby. If I had a baby, I would name it Grenda too. You would make such a good mother. True that. This place is so enchanting. Sort of confused by the phrase new mummies daily. <laughs> <laughs> is my head falling on your shoulder? Beep. <laughs> uh, yep. This is what I want. This is all part of the plan and stuff. Oh, Dipper, hey. Oh, golly, Miss Molly. Dipper, who is this? Nobody. I mean, uh, somebody, but... Dipper! I didn't recognize you right side up. No. This is John's nightmare. That's right, guys. Which one of us do you like? I... I like all of you! I mean, I don't like any of you! I mean, <laughs> I was trying to learn how to talk to girls! <laughs> Unbelievable. So gross. Confidence will destroy you guys. That's right. It's not worth it. Don't worry, Toots. Jesus. That spider people stuff is just an urban legend. I can't believe people fall for it. You're so brave. What can I say? I'm a real catch. Yes. Oh. Uh, I think your contacts fell out. Ah! Uh, have you seen an old guy around here? Uh, big ears, orange nose, or... <laughs> so remember how we were talking about my technique? Well, sometimes it leads to unexpected consequences. The good news is I've solved the mystery of where Oregon's mummies come from. The bad news is I'm about to become one. Daily. Did you make the call? <laughs> oh. I don't know. One minute we're having the perfect date, and the next minute she's growing extra legs and encasing me in webbing. You couldn't tell she was a spider? I was blinded by flattery. Also this acid she spit in my face. <laughs> All right, I'm going to find you. Stay put. You got it. <laughs> uh -uh, <try> <laughs> You're so funny. Great story. I love a man with shoulder hair. You... you didn't mean it about my shoulder hair? <laughs> you... <laughs> devil woman. Sorry, toots. This time, you're getting used for your body, which to my Whoa, weird species yeah. is food. Allow me to slip into something more horrifying. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Girls! There you are! Betrayer! 
Oh, you. What do you want? I need your help. With what? Some sick jealousy trap? Yes, sick it, Candy! <laughs> <laughs> but Stan's in trouble. You can totally kill me later, but right now he needs us. I don't know if you're really up there or not, but if you are, please save me, Paul Bunyan. <laughs> Primes! Whoa, did that really work? <laughs> Go, Grenda. Go, Sky Trim! Everybody on! <laughs> yes! Perfect! World's slowest treetop tram ride. Enjoy the sights at 0 0.1 miles per hour. Uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, it can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Come on, Enjoying the view? Take a picture. <laughs> Below us is Oregon's largest Paul Bunyan statue. An old reliable goes off in five, four, Candy, wait! Three, Don't pull that lever! Two, Kid, are you crazy? No! Ooh. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. God. <laughs> Kid, that was ingenious! How'd you know that would work? Useless travel pamphlets. Stanley. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. You'll let me out. Shoot her. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Do I look like an amnesiac? <laughs> You're so funny. Have you ever considered becoming a comedian? You know I actually have? <laughs> no. You'll win this round, Stan, but mark my words, as long as there's men like you out there with their dumb one-liners and pickup moves, I'll never run out of prey. Ooh. Confidence can buy you a lot, but at the end of the day, pickup artists tend to get our heads bitten off. When it comes to women, I'm a failure. Hey, we're both failures. That's the lesson. I actually haven't thought about Wendy all day. Plus, you did teach me to be more confident. I guess I just need to learn to use that power for good. Hey, I found a pamphlet I don't think you've read yet. <laughs> After seeing you flee the spider like a baby, I kind of lost interest. Yep, yep, I deserve that. <laughs> I never have to face any consequence. Sweet Lord! Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get! That's what you get! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I completely don't deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sure Seuss will take care of it. Where is Seuss anyway? Okay, Seuss, remember what your grandma taught you. When you get lost, stay exactly where you are and don't move. Seems awful. Okay. John, what was it like seeing your nightmare come to life? Uh, it was a great learning lesson for me, and I'm uh, going to, you know, try and use my confidence powers for good now that I've uh, learned the, the error of my ways. This is a real, like, it was like watching A Christmas Carol, except I didn't have to live it out. I didn't have to, you know, take the trip. I got to watch Dipper do it, and now I can learn secondhand from his experiences and become a better person. I hope so. Yeah. Too many women. Too many chicks. Is a curse I've never had to deal with. Well, you don't want it. I'd like it for, you know, like, a moment. For like a, for like a week. I just want to say no. Yeah. I want to reject. Ooh, what power. Yeah. yeah. It's about time men have the power. Yes. <laughs> to reject <laughs> women. <laughs> to rebuke their advances and make them feel embarrassed for trying. This is a fun episode. I liked it. It was fun. I think the girls were funny. I think uh, girls are funny. Dipper's very relatable situation for many a guy out there. Always having to learn to be. It's the combination of funny and confident. The ability to close. <laughs> and not try too hard along the way. Uh, that's, that was a good one. God damn. That, that, was a good, that was a good lesson for him to have learned. And uh, definitely turned way too many women on. I know. Poor son of a bee. I bet this episode was, was banned at the time. For just being too titillating. Too sexual. Too sexy for my TV screen. And it also had this interesting wraparound about, um, you know, like, people wrong Stan, he felt, and then he sought revenge, and then the spider lady seeks, declares vengeance. 
uh, at the very end. So there's there's a whole thing here about revenge, mm. and revenge begets revenge. Yeah. Is that crazy? So much deeper than just some silly episode about being on the road and trying to pick up girls and encountering a hot spider woman. Well, and two, it makes you wonder because as much as you want to be like, yeah, you know, re- revenge just begets more revenge, I'm like, of all the things... It actually does seem like Stan has something of a ground to stand on if it is, in fact, that every other mystery, you know, curio location has been pranking him for years. I feel like they can each take one, although he did, like, full-on destroy their attractions. So I guess he took it too far, and that's the lesson. I feel like he's full of S-H-I-T. Oh. Because... You know, like, even at the very end, he's like, I completely did not deserve this, so I'm sure something happened already. Probably. Makes sense. He lies to himself. Yeah, he's probably not telling us the full truth. He's lying by omission. But if Dipper had that type of comedy and confidence around Wendy, it could make a difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now that he's got that power, he should come back and give it a try and not learn and, and, and unlearn every lesson except the lesson of confidence. I've seen a lot of people escape that friend zone. Way to, there's a way to get out of it. And uh, I feel like Dipper's got a future there. Who else, who else could Wendy end up with that would be better than Dipper? Nobody. I actually didn't like that. Was, I wasn't opposed to the idea of Candy and Dipper. No, not at all. I thought it was kind of a neat twist I wouldn't have expected. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've liked, you know, nerdy Asian girls before. Mm-hmm. So I relate. Yeah. You gotta like at least one, at least one nerdy Asian girl. Sure, in your whole life, you gotta, yeah. you gotta have at least one nerdy Asian girl. You like, yeah, this is a, yeah, it's a requirement. One nerdy Asian girl, um, one like valley girl, white chick, uh, a sassy black girl. Just get your stereotypes in. I do feel like it's been a lot of filler though lately. As fun as this episode was, and I would like it to uh, get back. To where we belong. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you had such good momentum there. Yeah. And I, and I feel like it's mainly been like, we're laughing at stuff. This is fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am kind of craving a little bit more now. And I'm hoping that now that we're in the home stretch of the last few episodes, that we can get back there. You want more Stanford. You want more of that d- diaries and, and Bill Cipher. I know. I feel you. Yeah. Well, this is just the uh, adventure of the week. Yeah, true that. Brandon, you got to see more of the world expanding beyond just Gravity Falls and seeing that, no, this this far expands Gravity Falls. Yeah, it's the whole state of Oregon. Yeah, you can do a whole lot more crazy crazy hijinks out there, which which I appreciate. And, you know, Dipper and Stan get in and have a real uncle-nephew bonding male thing. I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's a necessary part of his puberty development. That's right. That's However... We got a bigger story at play here, and I, I'm starting to itch for getting back there. As enjoyable as everyone was in this episode, I am I'm getting that itch. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I mean, I th- I thought this episode like the I liked how uh, like icky and and creepy it got. Um, but yeah, like I wonder if the uh, mystery mountain or whatever it's called could could factor back in in any way because the rest of the attractions are just you know oddities that could easily be orchestrated by humans whereas that is like oh there's there's some real supernatural stuff going on here and some real like creature horror happening so maybe i don't know it's got something to do with the journals is this really just an isolated incident i don't know but i did like uh just the aesthetics of all the different attractions that they went to i thought those were all very fun and charming yeah lots of great little sight gags or blink and you'll miss it little jokes and things and yeah, like the spider lady I thought was actually icky. It was actually sort of like skin crawling. And what are you going to do? Eh, what are you going to do? We'll get back to it soon enough. I'm sure this show will end powerfully. Mm. All right, guys. We'll leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click that bell, leave a like. Still had a really fun time watching it in the moment. And uh, hey, let's end this with a Patreon. <laughs> Maria Hammond. Mm by the way, gave me a very generous birthday gift. And, and thank you, Maria, for just being the sweetheart that you are. We have looked up your name on Urban Dictionary. And I'm sorry if this sounds insulting. Maria is a person who can always make you smile in any way. Wow, Urban Dictionary, you're being rude about our girl Maria. Calm down, UD. 
she is a funny, sweet girl who always knows how to put you in a good mood. Wow, they Kiss are your not that holding back right now. Wow, God, she's brazen. She's beautiful and can make friends with anyone. Wow, I am offended on your behalf. How could you insinuate such a thing? However, she is sensitive and sometimes needs space to gather her thoughts. Wow, there is no Judge need for this language much. on the internet. No need. But she is an amazing friend, and you should hold on to them forever. I'm going to write Urban Dictionary yeah. a letter and have oh, this revoked because complaint. they should not be saying such things about your name. Maria, Maria, I'm so sorry. On behalf of us all. I'm sorry. On behalf of Stephen Urban, I am sorry, too. <laughs> and okay? Mike Dictionary, we, we will fix this. I this promise is, you. This is not a reflection of Urban Dictionary's morals and values of what the company actually yeah, believes please about don't, you. Please don't blame them. I'm sorry. But no, seriously, this is all very accurate <laughs> yes, to you, Maria. <laughs> and you are an incredible woman. And I saw some of your uh, interview with the the talking talking movie trivia. That was that was cool, man. That was cool. And I'm glad to see you doing some on camera work. You're a natural. And thank you for being you, dear. We'll talk soon, like we always do.